Well, I am still working in my fall garden, you guys, and I thought I would answer a question that you had related to my mums. Now, I had three white daisy-like mums that I had in a planter a while back, and as you can see, they're spent. The, uh, they were this year's mums, but they're spent. So, not all of my mums do I transplant, but some that I really like I do. And that, how do I determine that? Well, number one, if they've got a good loose root ball like this one, then this makes a wonderful candidate to go ahead and plant into your yard. And I also want to plant this one because it's got a really sweet flower that doesn't just scream fall, but it will be pretty when it blooms for the first time next late spring. And I'm gonna, I've got three of them and I've dug kind of a kidney shaped hole right here next to this topiary. And I think that contrast of these white blooms against that dark, green boxwood ball is gonna look beautiful. Now, Stuart and I just did a video on transplanting perennials because I had this Rudbeckia in that hole and I'm transplanting it someplace else into my more colorful border in the back in the potager where it's got lots of those, uh, those types of late summer and early fall colors. These white ones, not so much. So that's why they're going into this area here. Now, all I'm doing to transplant them, since these have pretty much finished blooming, I'm just going to cut off the spent blooms and I'll just leave those in the hole as kind of a green manure. They'll break down over time. And Stuart, can you hear the little Tarzan in the neighborhood next door? Okay. So I've already dug this hole and typically, again, the rule is two and a half times the root ball, the root uh, diameter of the root ball of the plant itself. Now these I have already watered. These are chrysanthemum morifolium. And these were just tucked or plopped, not even a half plop. These were just plopped into a display that I did. So three will be about perfect right there. Now in the planting hole, because this soil was really kind of hard pan clay, what I'm going to do is really not even replace much of that soil into the hole. I'm gonna add a little bit, again, I'll try to put a link at the bottom of this bitone starter from Espoma. I'm gonna put a little bit in the bottom of the hole. Fall is the perfect time to do this, though of course you could do it in the spring. Rough up that soil a little bit. I'm gonna plant these at the same level they were growing in the pot. I'm gonna space them kind of evenly. I think that's really gonna be beautiful, blooming white against, I think I need a little bit of soil there, against that dark green topiary boxwood. And by the way, you guys, I know you'll ask, this is a winter green boxwood. And this topiary behind me was a freebie. It was just a blue point juniper that seeded itself there and I turned it into a topiary. Now, because this soil was so compacted, I'm not going to replace it with the same soil. I'm going to replace it with some of my trusty Happy Grow Landscapers soil or mix. Any of the other mums that I don't use, I've said it before, will end up, if I can't, if, I, if the root balls are too compressed, if it just doesn't look like it's a really good, healthy, good quality plant to transplant, then in all likelihood it will go to the compost heap in the sky. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this topsoil. 
And I want you guys to notice how pretty quickly this goes. Any kind of big clumps you have, break them up. And I think sometimes there's a misconception that clay soil is not fertile soil. And actually, clay soil typically has lots of nutrients in it. It just doesn't have friability and a lot of oxygen in it. And that's why we amend it. And I'm going to compress those a little bit because I don't want any air pockets in there. I will put some more on this on top to mulch it. Any kind of, as you're doing this, any kind of leaves or anything like that, put them in the bottom of the hole and let them degrade and break down and provide nutrition for the soil. So then I'm going to water this in really well. Wash off all of the debris. And look, there's still a few buds on there, you guys. Now this one looks like it needs to be planted a little bit deeper. Typically, I have found it's better to plant things a little bit too shallow than too deeply. That will help prevent root rot and give it a little bit better drainage. There you go. It looks pretty good. And here is what I do with any big mounds of clay that are just solid clay and not really good topsoil. I throw them to the back and against the fence where they can break down with all of the other leaves that I've blown back there. So, I hope you guys will agree with me. This is going to be so pretty when all of these bloom in white. And that's how I transplant my mums.